Hey guys, it's the Pinhead back with another video today. I'm going to talk about the I Spit on Your Grave films. Um, now, the I Spit on Your Grave films are very, very hard to watch in some cases because a lot of them deal with rape. And, you know, I think one that bothered me was Last House on the Left, the remake. That rape scene bothered me because it just it's just so, it's so hard to watch that kind of stuff unless you're a sick pervert and you like that kind of thing I don't know it's just it's just kinda of hard to watch these movies <laughs> they definitely go through with that um, the original I spit on your grave the 1978 director's cut this is this is like a porno flick this girl is naked in this movie I'd say about 75 80 percent of the time <laughs> she lets this retard have sex with her before she hangs him. She's in a bathtub naked with a guy and she cuts off his dick. I mean, and the, the movie, it's just like a funny porno, but I don't know. It's, it's crazy what happens to her and she kind of like gets the nerve to fight back a little bit. Um, it's what it's interesting watching the special features you get to find out behind the scenes like this movie was going to get like an N uh, NC-17 rating um, or an X rating because of a lot of that stuff but it's something that will you'll always remember like when you watch this film more than you did um, Last House on the Left because I mean that one was good too but yeah now we get to the remake, I Spit on Your Grave. I think this remake was pretty good. It was kind of a dark film. And I love the way it was shot. And the girl in this, uh, you know, in this movie she's naked. Uh, I wouldn't say she's naked maybe 40%. Because, you know, there's a scene where she's trying to run from these guys. And I do like the, the criminals or the guys that are in this tormenting her. They're very... Uh, I would say intimidating in this film um, like everyone's after her like even when you think somebody's good like they're not and that's what I like like I love the kills in this it's kind of like torture and it's not like torture porn like that um, this one's very different when it's when it comes to that I enjoyed this I thought this was really good to be honest um, so, you know, give this one a watch if you can. And I know, you, you know, also watch the original. Then we have this. This movie, I think, came straight to DVD. I Spit on Your Grave 2. Uh, from the director of the 2010 film. <laughs> um, this film takes place in New York City. <clears throat> and... There's this girl who wants to become a model and stuff, and she gets... <laughs> it's, of course. I mean, she, it's just like she nightmare. Uh, she's a nightmare of rape, torture, kidnapping, and she's beaten, bruised, and stuff. And then she, you know, has vengeance on these guys. She's naked quite a bit in this film. But this one <clears throat> just didn't have... The same kind of, I would say, you know, I didn't feel, I mean, I felt for her when she was getting, you know, raped and bruised and battered and stuff. But this one, I just felt more for her than I did what was going on here. I just didn't care for some of the death scenes in this. And I just thought it was kind of stupid in a way. And the acting wasn't as good in this either. Um... But I don't know. I just think this film didn't need to be made, to be honest. I don't know what they were thinking about. But there is the I Spit on Your Grave films. You know, check these out either way. Check them out. Check the original one out, the remake, and then the second one to the remake. Check them all out see what you think. Um, out of all these, I'd have to say like I like the remake the best. So, anyway... 
What is your favorite? What's your least favorite? Um, you know, comment down below. Let me know. And if you like these films, like I always say, or if you like these videos, um, stay tuned to my channel because I have a lot more to upload and show you guys and talk about movies and even games too. So stay tuned. This is the Pinhead signing off, and I will see you guys next time.